going on Libra? How are you doing? I hope you're doing super well. This is the Autistic Mystic and this is going to be a reading for August 2022. So in this reading Libra, we're going to take a look at your overall general energy, some things you do not see coming, and also get some advice from your angels and spirit guides regarding August 2022. But before we begin this reading Libra, if this general reading happens to resonate with you, definitely smash that like button and subscribe down below if you have not already. That would be greatly appreciated. And as always, before we begin, I want to let you know that you are very welcome here in this space with me, Libra, as we go through the reading. And I really do appreciate you in advance as well for taking the time to check this reading out. Quick announcement as well, I will be opening up personal readings within the next week or so. Okay, that's very loose, but expect that to be open. I know a lot of you have been wondering about that, and I honestly can't wait to start reading for you guys again in that way. But for now, let's go ahead and get into this reading and see what it is that wants to come through for you for August 2022. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for Libra. All right, Libra, let's go ahead and see what we got going on here for you. Ooh. For August 2022. Yikes. All right, Libra, um, it seems like you're in a, a tough decision spot that you have to make. Like, it's almost like you're in this position where it's like pick your poison, especially when it comes to do with a love situation. A lot of you are in a very difficult uh, like love situation that's been like building up for a long time that you basically like there's a lot of questions about what you need to do with this. Um, you have one person that's really in your field, but I feel like there's going to be a lot of opportunities for you going forward, even if you decide to disconnect. But it just seems like there's this, uh, there's this something in August, there's this culmination of a love energy. So first of all, Libra, in your, in your opportunity, you have the Queen of Swords, okay? And the Queen of Swords is not afraid to set boundaries. She's not afraid to speak her truth. So make sure in your opportunity here, Libra, that you really stand up for yourself and you have proper thinking as well. Like the Queen of Swords is, um, is not really emotional. She's very logical. And so if you're really struggling with your emotions in August, which a lot of you, it seems like you're going to be, the question to ask yourself is what do I need? What do I believe to be true in order to feel this emotion? Because metaphysically spiritual secret of the universe is that in order to feel a certain emotion, you first have to have a belief that filters the emotion. So if you believe that rainy days are bad, you'll feel negative emotion on the rainy day. If you believe that rainy days are good, you'll feel positive emotion on the rainy day. So there is this opportunity here. It seems weird to feel into your emotions, experience the pain of whatever's going on, the risk involved in moving forward with this connection, and also then setting yourself right, not too much, right? So you also have the Ace of Swords in your challenge. So there's something you know here that's like upsetting you. There's a knowledge here. I really do feel like there's a new direction you're gonna be moving in that once again, for some reason, there's this like harsh energy around you. It's not very, it's not like harsh, harsh, but it seems like there's something that's just out of place. Like it's like, ah, like, ah, oh, God damn it. Like kind of frequency. The reason I'm saying this is I'll show you here, Libra. 
you know, a lot of you could be going through uh, like a disconnection from someone at this time in August. It could be that you're deciding not to move forward with someone that you were with for a long time or something. You know, you have the Three of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Page of Cups here in um, your overall general energy. So I see a lot of like potential, you know, sadness over uh, a certain relationship. You know, the Page of Cups here, you could, um, there could have been a situation that developed that it wasn't what you thought. Like maybe there was expectations involved and it didn't really go exactly how you thought. Like for August, now there is gonna be a lot of, for what you don't see coming, this is not the most important. Like you're convinced that something that happened is the most important thing. You have abundance coming through. You have amazing things coming through, even new opportunities. But it just seems like you're gonna be quite, um, there, there's potentially something that happens here, potentially even a missed opportunity that happened or that will happen in August 22. But um, this is just your energy so you can be aware of it. Now, it looks good for what you don't see coming. You have the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Knight of Wands, and you also have the Eight of Pentacles here, Libra. So no matter what, I actually feel like really a, a sense of groundedness coming in. It's almost like a situation like this in the past would have made you more negative. Now, what you don't see coming, you definitely do have new offers. You know, the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. If it didn't work out with someone, I feel like there are new people in your field or even to work it out with this person who you're just having difficulties with for because that for a lot of you, it will be that. But no matter what, Libra, I do sense good things coming in your career and your work. This has been a theme for you, I think, like two weeks ago or the last, like the last week even. Um, the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands, you know, there's going to be something that instead of going into, um, you're going to have to grieve, like you might have to really sit with these emotions that are coming up. But at the same time, you have that Queen of Swords opportunity, which is to, to keep working hard, you know, to um, like what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Like everything is an opportunity to learn. Like if you miss an opportunity, it's not really a missed opportunity as long as you learn something about yourself as to get more clarity about what you can do next. Or, you know, if it didn't work out with this person, like what type of person do I want to be with? Something like that. Because there is for a lot of you a chance for this to continue with this person. It's just like a hiccup. For others of you though, I do sense a disconnection. Um, so you have, um, you have in your advice from spirit. You have the world, you have the 10 of swords, and you also have the four of swords. This is the advice from spirit. So clearly the world is all about a major ending in your life. And the 10 of swords is clearly an ending as well, the number 10. Um, so the advice from spirit, you know, would be to maybe move in a new direction. Anything that doesn't satisfy you here, you may have to move in a new direction and really think about what it is that transpired and what it is that you want next. What did you learn? You know, the four of uh, swords here in your advice is to really get clear about something and don't run away from any truth because you have the ace of swords, which is the challenge, which is truth, you know, awareness, mental clarity, insights, downloads. And then you have the four of swords here in your advice. So if there's any, like whatever you're really hurting about, you are meant to go in it, but to learn something about it, like as the queen of swords, like what I'm sensing here from this situation is you, you can go into this, whatever this problem, this hiccup is that comes up between you and someone, you can, you can get down, but just don't stay there for long. Cause there, there's like a quick logical shift that will actually help you. So let's go ahead and see why Libra, this queen of swords is here and your opportunity for, um, for August. You know, it, it's just almost like there's something, you were damned if you did, you were damned if you didn't. And um, ultimately it's like spirit saying you, ha you have to stand by your decision. Whether someone disconnected from you or you're gonna be disconnecting from someone, or it's just you're working it out. You have to stay firm. You have to stay firm. Don't, don't question. Because there, like, there is going to be an opportunity to reconcile this. Like, I do see that, whatever this problem is. Um, but there's a lot of pain here. So let's go ahead and see why is the Queen of Swords your opportunity. You basically stick to your guns to a certain degree. Let's see. Like, I think you made the right decision, but it, although there's something about it that's weird, though. Missed opportunity. Uh, the Queen of Swords in your opportunity is clarified by the Seven of Pentacles, the Moon, and also the Knight of Pentacles here. So I really feel like there was, um, there's probably a decision here to take it slow with someone rather than move it fast here. You know, the Knight of Pentacles here is slow moving energy. 
Um, the seven of pentacles is about what do you want to invest in? And the moon is like an unknown. There could have been shady behavior. There could have been something that like, that really like some sort of awareness that you had that kind of wrecked the connection or that will in August. Um, and so your opportunity now is to maybe not give up on this if it's a very special connection to you, but just realize maybe it was like the wrong place, wrong time type of thing. Um, now for all, for some of you, that's going to be different for some of you, instead of moving fast, maybe you just need to take a break from someone. Maybe you just need to clear your head. Um, and something like that. It's going to be different, but let's keep going here, Libra, and see what this is about. Let's go ahead and see why the, uh, three of swords is here in your overall general energy. Okay. Let's go ahead and see. This reading's giving me a stomach ache. Oh Lord. The good news is, is like you, you're going to bounce back. You're going to be just fine. Like it's not going to be as bad as your mind is making it out to be. Okay. You're, you're, you're great. But let's see, why is the three of swords here? And there's a lot of questions about, did you make the right decision or not? And maybe you'll never know. I mean, that's kind of like what the problem is here, you know, but, uh, there was the three of swords is clarified by the king of wands the six of swords and also the four of cups here. Yeah. So you're, I, I, there's a disconnection here in August between someone that you really at one time either was your world or you felt like they could have been your world. The king of wands, this could be a fire sign that you were connecting to, not for all of you. Then you have the six of swords, which is clearly moving on, you know, moving in a new direction. And then you have the four of cups here. So there could have been like a lack of a spark or there could have just been a disappointment here with someone in love. Um, but, um, you know, there, there is going to be opportunities here in the future with this. I don't think it's completely over for some of you, but there's just like, it just didn't like a lot of times, like things don't go according to how your mind wants it to. And that's like life, you know? So if you had a plan in the universe, you know, once you think you have it, life figured out, like the universe, like laughs in your face. Right. So, I mean, obviously it's painful, but you have, maybe there's, there's a definitely a deeper reason for why this is happening. It's not just what you think, you know, maybe like a lack of compatibility. Let's go ahead and see it as well, uh, Libra. Um, let's go ahead and see why the, the eight of pentacles is here in what you don't see coming. Okay, so this is good news. Like this is something very tangible energy to be worked with here. That's why the queen of swords is your opportunity. There's something that you can now pour this new energy into whatever the space is in your life. You're gonna have now have more time and space, but let's go ahead and see. Um, why is this eight of pentacles here for Libra in what you don't see coming? One more here, Libra. Why are you being productive? What is this about? The Eight of Pentacles is clarified by the Page of Wands, the Page of Swords, and also the Nine of Cups here. So, um, yeah, if you feel like you, you know, getting information about maybe a missed opportunity, like the Page of Swords is getting information, the Page of Wands is like, why weren't you open to having like this like adventure or something? And then the Nine of Cups is all about your own individual happiness. So no matter what, it's like, it's really not the end of the world, even though it might seem like that for a while. But you're, you're meant to really question what is going to make me happy going forward. You see how that page of swords getting more information, kind of the stalker of the tarot is looking at that nine of cups. And a lot of you here, um, if you feel like you made a mistake, there's, you can learn something, you can look at it in the face, right? With this, with this ace of swords and you can learn from it and say, I'm not going to make that mistake again. Or you can, um, you can basically like say, forget about that whole thing situation and like channel your energy into some new situation. But like a lot of you have different levels of awareness, so it's going to be different. Now let's go ahead and clarify why the ace of swords is here in your challenge. The ace of swords is all about mental clarity, readiness of action. So it's almost like maybe when there's a, like it's too late, like there, like there's a, you decided someone decides to disconnect or you decide to disconnect and then you're like, Oh fuck, like I shouldn't have done that. Like, that could very well be what's happening here in August for you. Let's go ahead and see. Uh, 
Why is the Ace of Swords here? But remember, the, the grass is always greener on the other side. And if you felt the way in a certain moment, or if someone felt the way in a certain moment, then ever the universe is perfect. Even though our mind has different ideas, I really feel like you are in alignment, even though the, maybe this was meant, I don't know. Let's see, why is the Ace of Swords here for you, Libra? One more, why is the Ace of Swords here in your challenge? The Ace of Swords in your challenge is clarified by the Judgment card the nine of wands and also the justice card here. Okay, so there's gonna be like for a lot of you, there's gonna be a judgment that mm, like maybe the, it's either you or the other person didn't make the right move. Like some, there was a mistake that was made. There's a judgment here that like, oh, if X, Y, or Z went differently, this all would have been fine. Like there was a sudden movement maybe that wrecked the whole thing. Like someone, for example, like made, like literally made like an inappropriate joke that like turned the other person off and completely destroyed their love language. And if that one thing didn't happen, maybe that this wouldn't have happened. Now you also have, it's interesting in your challenge, you have the nine of wands, which is unfinished business and you have the justice card. So I really do feel like it's not going to be over. Like it's not whoever this connection is Libra, it's not over, but now you have a problem of like whoever decided to disconnect or whether it was a mutual thing, you feel like now you have unfinished business. And um, although it's not going to be something you're going to be obsessed with or whatever, um, there's a, there's a judgment here about like, you know, maybe, maybe it's just a very difficult reading Libra. So let's go ahead and clarify the, the one card I do want to clarify here um, for you is like, just let you, just let you know, the world is an amazing card to see. Like you're going to, you're going to be due for an upgrade. Um, you know, maybe feeling dependent with yourself, like feeling whole and complete within yourself. Maybe whether it was you or the other person wasn't ready for this. And if you try to move, like the universe always is mysterious. So let's go ahead and clarify why the Four of Swords is here. This is the advice from Spirit to you, Libra. The Four of Swords is all about meditation. Maybe taking time out for yourself. Um, because the problem is, is you will have opportunities. I'm getting with other people. Um... And so whether or not you want to do that in August is going to be dependent on how comfortable you feel um, and how honest you are with yourself. But let's go ahead and see why the Four of Swords is here. Why is the Four of Swords here and the advice from your spirit guides? Four of Swords is clarified by the Ace of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, and also the Hermit here. So yeah, like there's gonna be, um, I don't know, there, there's really, there's a lot of contemplation about whatever like happened between you and this person. You know, the Ace of Wands here, right? Libra, that's like, you know, sexual attraction and like maybe um, inspiration. And like, but for a lot of you here, you're gonna feel like the outside of a new direction. Like you're gonna feel like you wanna just like, disconnect okay you have the hermit the five of pentacles and the ace of wands here you're also going to feel like very like disconnected maybe from how your mind wanted this to go there was a mistake there was something that caused this to happen and what you want to do from here is up to you but libra you're fine you're going to be good the, the universe wouldn't put the world here in your advice if you weren't just fine so with that being said i'll talk to you in your next uh reading next week to see how this unfolds but libra i wish you the best of luck this is the autistic mystic